Welcome back, my friendly friends, to more Tales of Arise. Feral Fiasco here. Last episode, we got done killing whatever the heck was at the heart of the wedge. Now we're trying to make our way out. It won't let us, uh, it wouldn't let us fast travel down here for whatever reason, but we're back to the code name given to Dan and individuals chosen to perform the key role in the spirit channeling ceremony. Its connection to the sovereign who rules over Lenigus and the Renan homeworld is unclear. Yeah, that's big and beautiful. It looks like that beam of light has stopped. For now. Then is it safe to say we've avoided oblivion for the time being? For now. I can still sense a faint glimmer of energy, though. It hasn't completely dispersed. You can tell? Rinwell, your senses seem a lot sharper than before, probably, don't they? Probably all this astral energy. And you said you heard that voice, right? I guess... Maybe. I don't know. I don't feel bad, though. Oh, don't. If trace amounts, however small, do remain, then it leaves us no choice. We must destroy the entire structure. How? What do you suggest? We bring it down piece by piece? Once that's done, what do we do then? <laughs> Does Elfin have an idea? We go to Lenigus. Nice! <laughs> Even if we could destroy the whole wedge like he suggested, it'd only buy us time. The fact they sent this thing down tells me they're not giving up this planet without a fight. So, that's our way in then, huh? I was right. There's also the matter of the Renis Alma. Its circumstances still have yet to be truly resolved. But how do we even get to Lenigus? What if we hotwire one of their starships? There's gotta be one on the planet somewhere, right? Starships are only seen on Dana at the start and end of the Crown Contest. Otherwise, they remain on Lenigus. Believe it or not, we Renans down here aren't quite as free to come and go as one might think. Huh. Great. Well, I'm out of ideas then. We definitely don't have the tech to build a starship. And even if we found a Renin who'd help, who knows how long that'd take. Yeah, waiting for a starship to come down from Lenigus would probably be quicker than that. Well... Wait! Alfin, when you came down from Lenigus, it had to have been in a starship of your own, right? Right. Oh, of course. You can't be serious. That was 300 years ago. There's no way it's still gonna work. But Alfin didn't wake up until a few years ago. That means it had to have still been functioning that whole time to keep his body preserved. Dang. Indeed. You wouldn't happen to remember where you landed, would you? My memories around where I parked are still a little hazy. But I do know that I woke up in Calaglia. So chances are it's still in the area. At least it's a place to start. Luckily, that realm's my old stomping ground, so I should be able to get us some help finding her. <sighs> so back to Calaglia we go. Good stuff. She's really freaking smart. It. Yeah, as long as Lenigus stands there, there's no avoiding it. So what's this help in Calaglia you're planning to enlist? My buddy Nath. If anyone there knows something, I figure it's him. But first, we need to catch a boat and get back to the mainland. Which we can do. Sounds like everything went well. What say we set sail and make our way back to port in Mahagsar, huh? So we're just gonna we're just gonna table destroying this whole thing for now. Our first port of call is Ulzebek. Back where you first started out. Yeah, along with my dad. <sighs> What's she thinking? You okay? You don't look so good. <sighs> I think I'm just a little seasick. That's all. Liar. Got her. Huh? You heard me. You've never been good at hiding your emotions, Shion. Excuse me? Just what do you... No. You're right. 
I'm sorry. Hmm. Is it about Alfin? Really? No, not just him. Oh, okay. At least not something you can't talk about. Why is she not telling us everything? Well, I'm. I'm not like the rest of you. Not of even. Of course you are. Not even Dohaline. <sighs> no, I'm serious. Back when we first met, I think maybe then I did think we were different. But now I know that isn't true. You and I are the same, Shion. We're alike in more ways than you know. <laughs> if any of us is different, it's me. I'm a Danon who can use magic. I may be the last. My family and I have been living in hiding as long as I can remember. Everyone has their own pain that can be hard for other people to understand. I saw the two of you talking and thought you could use a third wheel. So, here I am. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> if anyone's the odd one out here, it's me. Believe me, you don't want to listen to my problems. We want me to go? I didn't say that. I get that you must have a lot circling around that head of yours. And that's okay. Whatever's worrying you right now, you're allowed to worry about it. And you don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. Unless it's highly pertinent to what's going on. I know I'm not a Renin like you, or a mage like Rinwell. I'm not a sovereign, maiden, or lord. I'm just a Danon who used to be a slave. But regardless of all that, I'm here for you, Xion. That goes for me too. We all want to be there for you. Me and Hoodle and even the boys. I promise. I mean, that is what friends are supposed to do, right? Aww. <laughs> I said this to Alfin, and now I'll say it to you. You're not alone in this. Thank you. Renwell. Kisara. And right on cue, I think I should make my way back and lie down for a bit. <laughs> My battle with this ship continues. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I better head back too. We wouldn't want the guys thinking they're in charge. Can you imagine Law at the helm? Who knows what kind of trouble we'd get into. Be off course in an instant. Still, if that's true, and it's all the more reason I have to do this. Sounds like she's planning on sacrificing herself or something. But what could Shion be aware of that Dohalim is not? <clears throat> because up until Alfin got to talking, it didn't seem like either of them was any more knowledgeable than the other. I think it's safe to rest here now. Hmm. <sighs> all right. Something is definitely up with Shion. Yeah, something big by the looks of it. I've never seen her so serious. So, do you think we should say something to Alfin then? I was wondering the same thing myself, but then it occurred to me. He's noticed. Hmm? Whatever this thing on her mind is, it's probably the last thing in the world she wants people to know about. <sighs> if she's trying this hard to keep it secret, then it's not really our place to go telling people before she's ready. Yeah. I can't tell them. There's... There's just no way I could, right? I... What am I supposed to do? What is this big secret that she's so worried about telling us about? Can we, I wonder, can we fast travel to Ulzebek? Go to impact site. Uh, 
Uh, sure. I wonder if it's going to be that guy. The ultimate core said to have been born of the five existing master cores. Legend tells that it is bestowed upon the winner of the crown contest when they become the new sovereign. Ah, oh, Calaglia. Feels like it's been ages. And wasn't Zephyr with us too? Dad. Hey, chin up. This is your hometown. Well. Everyone around here looks so much happier than they used to. I'll say. It feels like an entirely different place. I suppose it's had time to adjust to its newfound freedom. Zephyr would have been so happy to see this. Yeah, he really would have. Especially if he knew Law was... Law? Law's taken it all in. <laughs> Something bothering you, Law? Nah, I... I'll be fine. It's just... you know... <laughs> it still weighs on you, doesn't it? Running away back then. I abandoned my home. Then when I finally come back, it's been liberated. What's important is that it's free. I get that, I do. I just... Uh, I should have been here. Hmm. Law's got a lot going on, actually. Ooh, uh, well, we'll probably get healing at some point. Even if not, the inn's always free, so it's not like it really matters. Oh, just one thing after another, and it all falls on my head to... Hey, Nath. What? Can't you see I'm... Alfin? Looks like you have your hands full. As much as ever. As if I wasn't busy enough putting down the last remnants of Renan rule, I'm up to my ears in Dan and disputes. So we gotta help him out first. And then, to top it all off, that thing had to come crashing down from out of the sky. Pretty sure we've heard this somewhere before. But enough about my problems. What can I help you with? Yeah, we're looking for an old Renan starship. You wouldn't happen to know any around these parts, would you? A starship? What do you need one of those for? To get to Lenegas. Yeah. Lenegas? Are you out of your damn mind? Believe it or not, it wouldn't be the craziest thing we've done recently. Well, I believe it. Well, either way, I'm afraid I haven't heard anything about a starship. Then do you have any historical records by chance? Sure, we've got stacks of old records. Mind if we take a look at them? Yeah, okay. Wait. Thanks, Nath. Old records? They must have been Ren and made then, because it's not like Danans were able to keep records when they were literal slaves not too long ago. Hmm. I read through all of the records, but I only found a single line that might point to what we're looking for. It mentions a rock that shot across the sky and landed past the mountains. The event was recorded just before the first Renan invasion. And you think that might be the starship? I don't know. There was nothing else in the records that came even close. It looked like it was someplace called Berg, but maybe I'm reading it wrong. Berg? That ring any bells for you? Yeah, that's one of the biggest volcanoes in Calaglia. I was just there recently, investigating a report of a meteor someone saw. Uh, maybe a second starship? Another meteor in the same area? Really? I wonder if it could have been one of those lights that shot out of the wedge. Oh! All the more reason to check it out. Can you tell us how to get there? The old Zion mine is up that way. One of the veins we abandoned connects to the volcano. Go ahead and use that. But you should be careful. Huh? I don't know if it has anything to do with the meteor, but there's a giant zoogle running riot in there. Never seen anything like it. Well, we've become pretty good a at- A zoogle, huh? Well, I turned back as soon as I caught sight of the thing, so I can't tell you much more. Just be real careful if you head out that way. We've become really adept at killing giant zoogles as of late, so I'm not super worried. Hmm. Nath, are you ready yet or what? Oh, I didn't notice you there, Blazing Sword. And I see... Hmm? Hmm? You're Law, aren't you? Zephyr's kid! Damn, when did you get so tall? <sighs> Can't believe a little pipsqueak like you was running around with the Blazing Sword himself. I'm sure your old man would be proud. All right. Go on ahead without me. I'll catch up later. You got it, boss. 
See you around, Ma. Don't work too hard now. Hmm? Do you know that guy? I guess... Can't say I do. Even if I've met the guy before, last time I would have seen him would have been when I was real little. You could have at least said hello back to him. <sighs> I'm the reason my dad's gone, remember? You know how much they looked up to him here. Law. Hmm. Sorry for getting us sidetracked. Let's just head out. Hmm. Is Law doing okay? Not really. Zephyr's death is still weighing on him pretty hard. Can't say I blame him. Even if it's not his fault, that's a big thing to have to carry at his age. Right. Yeah, but he's trying his best to come to terms with it. I have faith he'll pull through. <laughs> Good. He's gonna need your support. He's still just a kid, and Zephyr's only one at that. I didn't like the sound of that monster Nath was talking about one bit. Well, we have to press on. We're going through Zion Mine to Berg Volcano. Let's move. So what is this about? <laughs> oh, Hoodle. What's wrong, bro? Everything okay with Hoodle, Renwell? He seems kind of out of spirits. It must be the heat getting to him. We don't get these kind of temperatures back in Cislodia. Galaglians born and raised here struggle with it too, so it's no surprise. Aha! So that's why his plumage is so white. He was born in a winter wonderland. Actually, Dan and Owls absorb the astral energy of whatever land they're raised in. Where they're born doesn't affect their appearance at all. But that's not why he's white. The real reason is that he's still just a baby. I think she's cool. mentioned that before. You mean their plumage changes color depending on where they grow up? Weird. And with all this traveling we've been doing, it wouldn't surprise me if his wings ended up looking like a colorful painting. I think he suits his snowy complexion. It'll feel strange to see him change. How awesome would it be if his head and wings were different colors? And his stomach and sides, like a map of our travels! What's wrong with that? I'll lay off, will ya? So much for the heat making him docile! You've only yourself to blame for that one. Hoodle takes pride in his appearance, you know. Fascinating. An appreciation of aesthetic beauty in an owlet so young. <laughs> Dohalim, I think you've drawn his attention. They've got a like mind for aesthetics. It's only natural. This is not the end. This is the end. Hmm. We're probably a little too broke to be able to afford everything that I'd really like to get. That's okay, though. And if we're going to be fighting... Holy Mark. Makes you harder to detect when making contact with enemy icons. So we can sneak up on them easier. Fish steak. EXP boost M. We need a boss fish, whatever the heck that is. Hell yeah! There's no way you can complain about how this tastes! So, now we just have to make sure we actually get to where we need to go ASAP. Alright, don't work too hard out there, which we won't. Okay, so we do actually have a little bit of a, a little bit of change. 60% CP. 13 life bottles. Alright, so so far we're actually pretty good. Go ahead and save over this one. Now can we fast travel there? Uh, Sandinus Ravine. There we go. We have to make sure that we can dart there ASAP. No distractions, no waiting, no nothing. We've reached our destination. Uh, hold on. What direction do we need to be in? Okay, so it is this one. Uh-oh. 
So it's the same way we went when we were fighting that original giant Zoogle. I'm going the complete wrong way. I'm going the complete wrong friggin' way. Oh my gosh. Really don't have time for me to be showing that I have no cartographical expertise. Well, I guess cartography is making that. It's, it's not quite hot them. here. The climate feels different from men and see us. It's gotten much cooler since leaving town, though. Does that mean eyes were burning holes in us? What is it? Navigational prowess? So yeah, if cartography is making maps, navigating is reading maps. Zion Mine Tunnels. Man. We haven't been here since before we awakened to the Something Blazing Sword. Here. Be on your guard. Like... So we're back in the Zion Mine Tunnels. Who would have thought we'd be going through this place again? This is where you and I first fought together. And also the first time we touched, as I recall. Wait, really? Yes, really. Hmm. But yeah, this was back when jump was still set to L1. Or attack, basic attack was still set to L1. My, my uh, right pointer finger is... No, was it R1 or L1? Either way, my pointer finger on the appropriate hand was not equipped for that. I have not spent my entire life building up that particular muscle for repetitious so movement. So this path so. is supposed to take us out to Bird Volcano? We're not going to see any lava burst out in front of us or anything, are we? Don't get so paranoid you let a rock fall on your head, Law. Oh. So the giant Zoogle must have really been just a boss then. Alright. The Red Woman. Which also reminds me... We need to go to uh, Balsif's old hangout so that we can um, fight that giant Zoogle that was up there. We could probably clobber that thing in like two hits now. Berg Volcano. So hmm. hot. Look for the starship. We've reached the inner portion of Berg Volcano. We need to find that starship. And fast! Okay, well... Oh, is the giant Zoogle gonna pop out at us? Huh. Well, there's no way we're climbing that. So it seems. Allow me to step in. Wait, you're not thinking of trying to vault over with your rod, are you? Why, I hadn't even thought that. In any case, stand back. I'll handle this. So now we're gonna get Dohalim's map action. Okay. Perfect. You can make plants grow instantly? <sighs> what if we use this for fruits and vegetables? I'd rather not be our party's fertilizer. Thank you very much. But I mean, well, I guess he would basically have to work himself to death in order to make that happen. These flaming meteors are not strong at all, are they? Let me change back to manual. Give us this. I'd be surprised if we couldn't instantly get him with this. There we go. Yep. We can act just like we thought. Away from us. We're using burn strike? Why? Oh, well, at the very least we can do is bully these things to death. Nice. Getting those weaknesses in there. So like this action. Yeah, this one shouldn't last. There we go. I wonder Only if we can make new weapons with this. Yeah, we're not worried about How them. How long has it been since I last went this hungry? All right, so we ate for no reason because I thought we were gonna have to fight an enemy in order to actually get this far. But oh, well. okay. So the rock madillos. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but... Okay. 
So that just means that they've been broken. I see. Interesting. Yeah, I doubt everything would be weak to the same stuff here. Can you take care of them? No sooner said than done. Easily be played. You completely missed. Still not sure what they're weak against. That's my cue. It's almost too strong. Well, Somebody got him with a weakness a, a few seconds ago, but I did not see what the heck they were actually weak to. That's okay, though. Because they're weak to S-Crafts. Mystic Arts. They're weak to Mystic Arts. Switch back to you. Looks like she's using Divine Saber, I think? No. Shooting Star. Could a girl ever say no? As impressive as always. Alright. Uh, if it works, it works. I mean, you're even better than ever. I've never seen I mean, I don't find anything, anything here that's weak to fire, but... What are these things... Oh. Light burst four. Okay, interesting. Well, looky here. 366 XP. My face is starting to sting. And my throat feels super parched. Ninja. Here, have some water. Just make sure you don't drink too much. Uh, Thanks. You want some tushi on? Oh, wait. I admit you're hungry more than anything, aren't you? I'm fine, thank you very much. Alright. Magma Lem. This thing is definitely reaching what we've got. Which means we want to make sure that we're hitting it with. First this, go ahead and sit it down. Yep. Definitely going to be able to bully this thing to death. Good stuff. Got nothing on us. Get some. Bullied it to death. Before we go anywhere, obviously, we've got to go ahead and grab this. More gold. Perfect, perfect. Hexbreaker, Transcendent Pebble. I mean, that's not as great, but... These things should be able to go ahead and take them down, lickety split. Don't push yourself 495, almost 500 XP. Do not mind if and we do. And then his map action should let us get even further in. Did that cost us 53? It sure did. Now that's ridiculously expensive if I do say so myself. Okay, and this is the way we were originally coming up. Alright, that's fine though. Because these things escaped death last time. Hard spherical shell. Well, look who's in a bright and shiny mood. And now we can keep this ball rolling. If we can get over there fast enough. Yes, sir. Come here. And then... Sometimes I wonder where you come up with those moves. Crap, I could dude. say the same to you. <laughs> Good thing we're on the same side. We have to make sure that we grab these because uh, forging new equipment. Definitely part and parcel of making sure we don't get got. Yep, and if there's two of the Magma Lems, this should net us so much XP. We took care of them. Gothic Dress. This should be for Shion. Yep. Perfect. Um, but with that set, I'm actually not certain what the way forward would be. Or even if we should press on, really. Because we only have 60 CP. And leaving and coming back would probably be the smart thing to do. Alright. We've got another thing up there that Dohalim can do. So let's actually make sure we've got that set. Nope. That was the uh, Dohalim thing. Ooh. 
Lots of fighting that they want to do. Alright. Uh-oh. Wrong way. Hmm. Oh, yeah. All these jokers gotta die. Came from. Alright. We got the win. Now what is this? Alright, so he can construct paths as well. In which case, let's use one orange gel. And then let's immediately use a bunch of what that orange gel netted for this us. This bridge will hold itself together, right? Most definitely. Though I won't make any promises. So that's which for, one is it? That one's for Rinwell. Alright. It's good that they're finally getting some more stuff because we definitely desperately needed for them to be able to take more hits. Yeah. Standing this close to lava would cook you alive. That convection is no joke. Uh, Alright. We've got to actually go back. And it's jumped down this one. It's crazy to see rocks melt before our eyes. Yeah. Watch where you're going, everyone. If you fall, there will be nothing left of you. Exactly. So don't try anything funny. Especially you, Law. No pushing anyone. Not even as a joke. I'm not a little kid! <laughs> but... Yeah, if it's... you had that sort of trick up your sleeve, Dohalim. I would have figured rocks and plants would be too different for you to handle both. Not necessarily. Both of them contain Earth astral energy. Luckily for me. Dang, I hope I didn't cancel out what he was going to say. I sure did. But, uh, yeah. Why are they making us work so hard for this? Absolute is normally, um... There we go. Normally an ice art. Uh oh, hold on. I'm... Oh, no. We could pay to play or we could fight. But I definitely wanted to avoid fighting. Callus. Calcified. Calaglia. What kind of poem is that? A sparse one. Hmm. It's beautiful, Dohalim. Don't let them bully you. Berg Volcano. A volcanic system that splinters off from the Zion Tunnel System. A fallen meteor set to lie deep within or whatever. Okay. So. Can we? Let's see if we can make it here. I'm going to I'm gonna try it. I'm going to try cooking something. And then we're going to see if... We can make it there from Ulzabat. It'll be the ultimate test of what we could potentially accomplish. Funny story. I actually didn't have enough horse meat for more horse sashimi, so we made a pork bun instead. Oh, crap. We also upgraded, um... Xion and... Renwell's weapons. What the hell is that thing? Right? Probably that monster Nath warned us about, if I had to guess. Do you think this might have been where one of those lights that shot out of the wedge landed? But why this location? If the purpose of the wedge is to harvest Dana's astral energy? We can figure that out later. If that thing gets into town, it's going to cause chaos. Kill everyone. We need to take it down and move on. Let's go! Alright. So this thing is definitely Ifrit Malum of a 47. This one's tough, uh, but we have no choice. Let me know if you need healing. Is there a reason I can't use an attack? Here it comes. Focus. On your toes, everyone. Why can't we attack? Suddenly turning tail doesn't seem so ridiculous. Why? Are you scared? Me? <laughs> Are you? Do you even have to ask? Of course I'm scared. Focus up before we become that thing's lunch. 
It's summoning Zugal? Okay. Take care of them while keeping an eye on it. So the actual thing itself we can't fight just yet? not what I wanted to do but I mean so far so good even if we are five whoa what is that a lava beam that's instant freaking death all right let's uh, actually switch this let's put freeze lancer Yeah, we'll put Freeze Lancer here, and then we'll put Holy Lance there. Just to make it easier on my poor fingers to actually pull this off. So we're basically just waiting for a free to... No, good stuff. Alright. Crap! I'm so busy looking at the actual big thing, we're, uh, we're missing out on the big thing that's right in front of us. Away from that. I wonder if we stay far away, far enough away, will it not be able to actually get us with that? Either way, so far, not actually being able to put any damage to a fleet itself is kind of stupid. Okay. Still not really a problem, even if we haven't gone after our main target just yet. Xion's friggin' dead. But that's what we've got the life bottles for. Heal yourself, please. There we go. One down. One more to go. Hopefully I did not just put Alphan in danger. Yeah. All just took some damage there. Alright. Now, I'm actually going to have her back up a little bit. Let's run away. Okay. Didn't mean to do that. But it's all good. Did we get it? We did not get it. How did we go from the back and then have lost? Right. Nice. Not really looking at anything important right now. Okay, I was like, why can't we move the thing around, but... We didn't get a core break off of that? Interesting. See, we've already gone through a third of our... A third of our CP, and we haven't even done any damage to the actual boss. The nonsense, I tells ya. Come on, dude. All you have to do is just die. Come on. Got him. Alright, now can we attack our... We cannot. My attack buttons do nothing. Here come more. You'll just have to keep fighting. You serious. Leave the enemy's arc to me. No complaints okay, here. Okay, well... Maybe we're gonna get one of each enemy type. Like until we've killed the we've killed the Mal Golems or whatever. And then now we're killing the the fire boomies, and then after this we're gonna kill the fire the rock Madillos, rather. Once we've gotten the rock Madillos taken care of, then we'll be able to actually get the Afreet thing. Alright, you're freaking dead, which is good. We're taking hits, which is not good. Xion is dead, which is the worst. Uh, life bottle. Take it. Oh, yep. Don't mind if we do. Wow. I should probably turn off their fire element arts. Crap. Alright, so so far, so good. Flame drive. That's the enemy using that, which is fine. She can sit this guy down. Uh-oh. Good stuff. 
Who's next? Bring you back from Death's Abyss. Resuscitation. And uh, just to stay on top of it, let's preemptively use an orange gel. Better. Reinforcements incoming. Not a problem. A second wave? Okay. Can we, we not do it before dying? And Shion is dead. Hi. Can she do it? She can. Most excellent. Um, we'll help her out with a chip. A new lease on life. Dang, dude, they're going after her. We probably shouldn't be standing directly underneath the Afrit thing. Nope. Crap. I hate doing it, but we will life bottle ourselves really quickly. Jeez. Let's help out the fight. Shion died again. Alright. Life bottle. It's just because there's so many of them. No! I couldn't jump out of the way in time. She can still revive us though. She cannot still revive us because she's down. Yes, please. I it was faint. She's definitely bringing us back from Death's Abyss, though. Ooh, no, it's a lemon gel that we want to use on you. All right. It's just as we're being attacked on so many different fronts. Nope. Aha. Okay. We're getting them slowly but surely. Ugh, it's just so much going on. Alright, and we killed everybody. Uh, ooh. Okay, we should definitely be doing this more often. Shion's dead again. Nope. Okay. We're slowly but surely. I know I keep saying that, but eventually it's going to be true. Yes, Alfin, please. I didn't stop it, though. Crazy. Nope. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's do a pineapple gel. All right. So this was horrendous. Absolutely not handled as well as it could have been. But it's okay. We pulled through in the end. Even if we use more resources than I would have liked. Jeez, dude. Right. No! Wow, dude. And the Freeze Lancers. Wait, what did we get hit by? I'd probably know if I was looking at the actual free thing that's cut that's uh, giving these things so much backup. In any case. Wow. The fire. Alright, so she cannot be it's gonna be pretty difficult for her to do this by herself. Alright, that's fine. If you're coming at us. Nope. 
pieces. Attack us. Get him. Who? All right, I think we may want resistance to fire on everybody if we end up all dying here. I'm not putting this past that particular happen. Alright, please don't summon another wave of those things. Crap. I totally effed that up. What was I thinking? Everyone alright? We won't surrender. We won't retreat. Not yet. Whatever you do. Is she healing just circle please us? Please stay safe. How are we supposed to take on? Alright, hold on. I was like, there's something horribly wrong. I'm going to die if I don't heal myself. Watch and learn. That's enough. Finally! Unrelenting Blaze. You serious? He one shot it? Okay. And here I thought we had an actual fight ahead of us. Everyone okay? Yeah, that was easy. Yeah, I think so. That thing scared the pants off me. It felt like it had a different aura than other Zoogles, didn't it? Yeah. It wasn't like the one that Almadria sicked on us either. Its elemental astral energy variance was out of this world. It was like fighting a lord. I guess it's safe to assume that if it came out of the wedge, it must have played some part in helping harvest astral energy. But what? Perhaps a living spirit vessel? It's plausible, given the location. Or it may be part of a new force dispatched to regain control of Dana. If we assume that monster was one of the four beams of light, we must have prevented something from taking place here. I'd like to think so, knowing how much grief it gave us. But at least with that out of the way, we can keep moving forward now. Let's go. So, traveling around... Oh. Unrelenting Blaze. Increase maximum AG by one. Speeds up Flaming X charge time. Okay. Incineration wave. Sure. Secret key. The key to a certain door in Calaglia. Simply beholding it makes one wonder what lies beyond the threshold. I... I think Ooh. I'm getting stronger. 16,000 XP. We should have done that when we were, um, set. Either way, I'm fine with that. But yeah, if we were already in the blue, how much crazier it would have been. First things first, though. Berg Volcano. Now let's see what this starship action is looking like. Outer area. Hey, is that it over there? This guy. What are you doing? So we need more horse meat. Rap pig and horse. Okay. Oh, all you have to do is chat with this dude. Okay. Finally. Well, what is it? I found an ingredient for that new recipe. Hmm. All right, so we can make something new. This is it. <sighs> Alvin, did you remember something? No, but I have seen this starship before. You got a memory for us, bro? This is it. This is the ship I traveled in when I escaped from Lenegas. Oh, that's high tech. 
Three centuries later, and it's no worse for wear. I'll take a look at the internals. Wow. I just Damn! Got... I'm amazed it still works at all after all this time. The past meets the present. Hmm. I really am from a different time and place. Yeah, but you've got us now, Alfin. Not only that, but you've helped out so many people, too. Law's right. Rinwell, too. You're one of us now. No more carrying the weight of history on your shoulders. You're a part of this world. Right. Thanks, you guys. Why do I feel like Dohalim is about to betray us? Okay, never mind. I never doubted you for a second, Dohalim. How's it look? It should fly. All internal systems seem to be operating. However, considering how long it's remained inactive, I suspect it will take some time before it's ready for takeoff. How much time are we talking here? Starship mechanics are not what I'd call my forte, so I'd rather not hazard a guess. So we've just got to sit around here and wait? I'm terrible at waiting. That's because you're a child. Oh, but how about we use this time to prepare and gather supplies for the trip? Don't mind if Good we idea. do. Who knows when we'll be back from Lenegas once we leave. We should prepare ourselves for every possible scenario before we go. Point of no return. Let's try not to stay away too long. I'd hate for anything to happen to the place while we're gone. Either we race ahead, or we take due precaution to ensure we have no regrets. I shall leave it up to you as to how we proceed, Alfin. Works for me. Now her. Or she may have already, we may have already gotten our, our patented Tails trader thing. Wait until the ship is ready for takeoff. What's going on over here? But yeah, this is obviously a point of no return for everything we can do on it's Dana. Funny, isn't it? What is? All this. When we first started this thing, did you ever imagine we'd be going to Lenegas? After all, this is the sort of thing I was rebelling against when I ran away from home, right? I'm sure Zephyr would be proud if he knew what his son was doing right now. And a little shocked, too. We're defying the order of things that have persisted for 300 years. <laughs> Deep down, I knew our journey would lead to confronting Lenegas. Yeah, you maybe, but you're a Renan. The rest of us can barely even picture what it means to leave Dana. No offense to Xion and Dohalim, but it's worth remembering we're heading into enemy territory. No offense taken, and this is no picnic for me either. Remember, our aim is to ensure that both Lenegas and the Renan homeworld leave Dana alone for good. I don't think we'll be able to avoid a fight. Is there no way we can talk them into leaving us alone? The people of Lenigus? Sure. I mean, we found a way to make it work with Xion and Dohalim, right? And it's not just us. If places like Menencia can do it, then why can't because we- Because there are still many of my kind who believe it was right and natural that Rena reigns over Dana. Super racist. There are those on Lenigus who have never stepped foot on Dana. I doubt whether they'd even listen to Danans. Look, none of us want to fight. But these are the same people who fired that wedge down on Dana. What happens next is on them. Right. We're not going to sit back and wait for them to oppress us again. Right. Don't forget, there's also a good chance the Red Woman is somewhere on Lenigus. And wherever she is, we should find the Renesalma, too. That's right. If we can take it back, then Xion can finally get rid of her thorns. Xion? Huh? Uh, yeah. She's still really suspicious. I'm telling you, dude. What? Like, if we're heading into enemy territory, why not just be forthcoming about everything? It better be big, whatever it is. Everybody's sleeping, sitting up. 
I couldn't do that, but I've never <sighs> fought for uh, I've never fought for an entire day, so where? What is this? Our third, our third nighttime conversation. Your party disbanded. Where'd Shion go? How could she just go off on her own? Is she trying to take off without us? Wait, her thorns are hurting herself? It's your thorns? But why? <laughs> you okay? Just now, I looked like you used your maiden powers to suppress your thorns. You can really do that? She couldn't do that before, though, could she? What the heck? Stay out of my way. Okay. Wait a second. Are you planning to go alone? Shut up! Why would you do this? I told you to shut up! <laughs> what is it? I won't let you. I mean it. I refuse to let you. This is the Tails duel. I won't tell you again. Move or I'll shoot. If that's the case, then go ahead and shoot me! <laughs> Is it not? Oh, okay, well. Is she finally ready to tell us what it is? She's got to let us in on whatever's going on now, right? Do you remember back when I was stabbed? By Volron? Yeah. I thought for sure that he had killed you back there. That wasn't the first time. That she was stabbed by Volron? The first time was when I was only a child. After that, no matter how often, I just couldn't die. Whoa. Couldn't die? So you're immortal? How's that even... <clears throat> I believe you, Xion. But tell me how... How is something like that possible? My thorns. They're me, but at the same time, not. They're part of me. I have no idea why. But my thorns will never let me die. At least not before I'm meant to. Uh-oh. You can't die before your death? When my thorns free themselves, it will be my death. <laughs> I've seen it. A darkness that swallows up everything until nothing remains. It's a vision of oblivion I can't escape. I want to believe it's all just a bad dream. But no matter what I tell myself, I... I know it's not. Yeah, but you... Wait. The whole reason you... You needed the Renesalma was to get rid of your thorns, right? Was she ready to die? If I burn away what's inside, then what will happen to the rest of me? Right. Either way you look at it, I'm going to die. But if I am going to die, I figure I can at least take my thorns out with me. That's what I've been after this whole time. She's been trying to die. Oh my god. That's why you turned your back on your fellow Renans and chose to fight with us, isn't it? 
while we've all been fighting to keep on living. You have been with us fighting desperately to die. That was the plan. But then I met all of you. And I... Before I knew it, I didn't want to die anymore. Lose hope yet. We'll find a way to save you. There's still time to. It's pointless. Why? Because the darkness won't just consume me. The truth is, it will consume all of existence as well. Are you serious? It was only a suspicion at first. But ever since the Red Woman triggered my maiden powers, I've been more certain than ever before. It was then that I finally came to realize my powers were holding my thorns in check the entire time. But they don't anymore. Not since Lenigus, when the wedge fell. Every day, I feel the thorns' power growing stronger inside of me. Pretty soon, I won't be able to hold them back anymore. And when that happens, it will consume all existence. <sighs> and that's why you wanted to leave by yourself. So that only Rena you goes? To find the Renis Alma on your own and sacrifice yourself to stop the thorns. But that's. <laughs> too much. It's way too much. When this all began. I didn't care what happened to me or anyone else. And what happened to the Renans or the Danans didn't matter to me at all. I know I have to die. But I don't want to. Not now that I have this. I wish we had never met. Then I wouldn't have to feel this way. She Dying is no better than being a slave. How can you endure this? Elfin. It's not fair. I don't care what anybody says. I won't let it happen. We can fight this. We'll fight until the end together. Isn't that what you said to me before? Man, he is toughing it out. be the end of everything else too Shion what do you want it's your decision ultimately but if you decide not to fight fate I will even if I have to do it alone no you won't be alone I'll fight as well Count me in as well. I want to be a force for good, not hate. And me too. I meant it with all of my heart when I told you before. Neither of you are alone in this at all. You guys. And I, for one, don't believe this venture is without hope. Dohalim believes. Shion is the descendant of a maiden from 300 years ago. Given the circumstances, it seems very likely that those events have some connection to her thorns. The true nature of which, I imagine we will discover as we make our way to Lenigus and uncover the truth of what's unfolding here. I take it you mean we might find a way to get rid of her thorns and she live? It's certainly possible. Though I suspect the nature of the Sovereign is connected somehow. So be it. I've already lost everything I had once. Right. No matter what happens from now on, we're right here with you. All of us are. 
You are not alone. You guys, you're all so stubborn. right now, in a little while longer, I just want to hold on to this dream. I'm sure we'll succeed. But most of all, more than anything else, I want to be with all of you. So let's go. On to Lenicus. Okay, her thorns consuming all of existence is definitely something that I understand she would want to keep to herself. But that should be it as far as her not wanting everybody else to, or as far as her being cold to everybody else. The end of the world. It's hard to believe, isn't it? We'll stop it. I believe Shion is telling the truth. What about you? As a friend, yes. I want to believe her. Everything that's happened seems to point towards some sort of great danger that's lurking ahead of us. Still, it's hard to fathom something that could usher outright doom to the world. That those really are the stakes we face. Well, he doesn't know that they always no, are. I understand. Even Shion doesn't seem to know exactly what will happen to bring it all about. We have so many pieces of the puzzle in our hands. So many clues. Yet the complete picture eludes us. So where do her thorns fit in, then? Well, I imagine they must sit at the very center of it all. You remember the voice we all heard while we were inside the wedge, don't you? Yeah, I remember. It was the will of Dana's astral energy come to life. Or well, that's what we all thought. Right. And from that, we're able to hypothesize how vast concentrations of astral energy can become sentient. Let's return to when we found Xion in Pelegion. When her thorns went wild, they contained far more astral energy than any mere Renin would normally have inside them. Because she was a maiden? So you think those thorns might be alive too? That their will is what keeps her from dying? But why would they want to destroy the entire world? As for that, I really cannot say for certain. Its goals still remain a mystery. It may be a mere fluke that her maiden powers have been able to contain it thus far. You know, I've noticed since we've met that you like figuring out riddles. Can you blame me? Not really. When one realizes that the world they once thought to be true is but a mere facade, they can't help but seek the truth. Especially when that deception has led to others getting hurt. Dohalim? I imagine the remaining pieces of the puzzle that we seek rest somewhere within Lenigus. As for what the final picture will look like, who can say? I think it's best we not dwell on it too much for the time being. Right. Mm. No, dude. Her, so, her thorns might turn out to be the final boss. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if that ended up being the case. Like, we separate the thorns from her, but they don't want to go down without a up? fight. Who, me? Yes, you. You took a hit from those thorns again, didn't you? A really long oh, that, one! That was nothing. Compared to what Xion's going through, you mean? Still, even if you yourself might be willing to endure that kind of pain, that doesn't mean Xion wants to have to see you get hurt by her thorns, you know? <sighs> yeah, I know. I'll be careful. Xion doesn't know how lucky she is to have you around, you know? Dashing in to save her at the last minute. Yeah, yeah, very funny. I'm being serious. You went up and held her close like you still had that mask on, and you didn't even bat an eye. She really needed that. That's what I mean when I said you saved her, just like you did with the rest of us. I just want for Xion what we all have. The ability to touch someone, 
without the fear of killing them. Those thorns have robbed her of the kind of everyday things we all take for granted, and it's not right. You can say that again. It may be normal for us, but that doesn't make it any less special or important for her. I hope she gets what she wants. She will if we've got anything to say about I it. I have my own dreams, but a world without her, where she dies so we can all survive, isn't a world I want to live in. Agreed. It's like more and more keeps getting taken from her, and I'm done with it. Dude, this is gonna be crazy. Especially with how tech Did he is. Did you know? You mean about Xion? Yeah, I didn't have the slightest idea. I mean, every once in a while I thought something seemed a little off, but I never could have imagined. It's like a completely different world was spinning around me and I couldn't even see it. You and me both. I mean, I knew something was bothering her, but I could never quite figure out what it was. You? But you're the one always looking out for her, aren't you? She was actively That's pushing him thought. away. But in reality, I didn't understand it all. What I thought was helping and being there for her was actually just driving her into a corner. At least you figured it out in time, though, right? I don't think we're out of the woods yet. But yeah, you're right. We brought her back from the edge, and we're going to stop those thorns from taking her. No matter what. Yeah, with all of us together, there's nothing we can't handle. Shion, the world, we can save everyone. And I mean it when I say we, Alfin. I know. No lone wolfing it. Hey... You're the expert on what my dad would say. Do you think he'd pat me on the back or tell me off? Zephyr'd be down to help. Zephyr, I don't think that he'd have that much to say, to be honest. You're your own man now, Law. And you've already made up your own mind about what you want. I guess he couldn't say anything even if he wanted to. Law. Sorry. I guess those of us amongst the living have enough problems to deal with, don't we? We'll need all our strength to save Xion. I'll probably end up worrying again at some point, but I guess I'll think it over more then. That okay? Yeah, I think it is. And now for Rinwell's thoughts after we get unstuck off of Law's geometry. Can't sleep? After everything we just heard? How could I? Fair enough. Xion's had to deal with so much on her own. Even when we were all laughing and celebrating, she just kept quiet and didn't say anything. She had a lot on her mind, yeah. I thought she was keeping her distance because of her thorns. That it was because she didn't want to hurt anybody by getting too close. I just figured that that was the type of person she was, you know? But it turned out to be none of that. All this time, she felt like she had to die and sacrifice herself for the greater good. But even then, she didn't think she could say anything to us about it. I know. She was so alone this entire time. How could I call her a friend and yet be so completely blind to everything she was going through? You guys weren't that close for that long, I'm man. sure it made her happy, knowing you were there for her. You really think so? Yeah, I do. If she didn't think of us as friends, I don't think she could have ever opened up to us like that. You were a good friend to her before, and you'll be an even better one now. Yeah, I really hope so. I want to be the best I can for her. When you think about it, we were all alone in our own way. But over time, we've all found ways to let each other into our lives. I hope Xion's able to do that one day too. No, I mean, I hope she's able to do that more. Lots and lots more. I think it'd be really nice if we could all just be there to support each other when it really counts. And forget about our grudges and pain. Rinwell. Lofty aspirations, but we're pretty tough. I don't doubt that we could handle it all, but first we gotta find in chats. There she is. What is that? That's probably the water place. But enough of that. We've got Xion to chat with. What's up with you? How are you hey, feeling? 
You doing all right? Now that you got real friends behind you, or you finally accepted us as your real friends. <sighs> I seem to cause nothing but worry. As much as I try to look like I have things under control, everyone still worries about me. You're not the only one. Hey, do you remember the first time you said I was your friend? <sighs> no. When was that? Sorry, I can't remember. That's okay. It came so naturally to you, I'm not surprised you forgot. I was different back then. The Danans were not even people to me, and I knew I would always be alone. Dang. But in that room with Deadheim, when you called me your friend, it just shattered the wall that I'd built up around me. Because until that moment, I'd only seen you as a means to an end. I thought of you as a way to use the Blazing Sword and to obtain the Renis Alma. <laughs> but after that day, one time became two. And before I knew it, you'd made a habit of calling me and Dohalim your friends. It didn't matter that we were Renans. You cared about us as you would any other people. Then, everyone else started to call me their friend too. To think of me as their friend. Before then, I never even dreamed I could have that. I didn't want to die and lose you all. But I also didn't want to live if it meant you would all die in my place. Well, if existence ends, we probably won't be doing that either. Shion. But then I realized I'd only really been thinking of myself that entire time. After saying how I felt and hearing what you all had to say, I finally understood that. <sighs> Don't worry, it's okay. I'm not planning on dying anymore. I've met too many people along the way who I truly care about to give in now. So I'll fight. For Dana and for myself. I'll fight against my fate to preserve our future. And I'll win, come hell or high water. I don't know how we're going to do it, but I won't let the world end because of me. It's going to be a long, hard road ahead, Shion. Our fight won't be over until everyone, both Danans and Renans, can finally live in peace. And they're going to be able to accomplish. I swear I'll be there with you until the very end. Thank you. Remember what we learned back in Calaglia? There's no wall so high that we can't break it down. Yeah, I think you may be right about that. All right. With one final pep talk, members who have left have returned to your party. But with all that done, because we're at what I'm assuming Everyone is... Everyone well rested? Then let's go. We depart for Lenigus. Not just yet. There's still some stuff we've got to do here, but we'll take care of that and depart for Lenigus. That's all going to be next time, though, so definitely join me then for more Tales of Arise. Bye for now, guys.